Hey guys, we're going to do another quick little uh, toolpath tutorial. Uh, this time it's going to be on my firefighter union. So we got it up here on the screen. This is actually one of my first unions on here, so you'll notice I don't have the border on. This workpiece is the 10.5 by 13. So this one's going to go pretty quick. There's only really two toolpaths we have to deal with. So uh, someday I'll update the file and, you know, I'll update this video, but... So we're going to create the regular star toolpath like we did in the last video. So we're just going to select, and now I've already grouped the actual main design here, so I can just turn that off. We're going to go up to our V-carve, and again, we're going to do this with a 60 degree V, so we get those nice sharp angles, and you know, you kind of get that depth to the, to the design, to the star design and we're going to calculate it. There's really nothing else we need on this one. So, reset the preview, preview all toolpaths. You'll see our star design just like we had on the army crest. So, um, pretty simple there. Next, we're going to head back over to our 2D view. Now we're going to work on the firefighter union itself. So, this one, it's really simple, but it needs a couple tweaks on it, and I'll show you why. So we'll close this here. And it appears I lost my cursor again. So we're going to just do a regular quick V-carve on this one. We'll do it with the 90-degree V-bit. Um, remember, if we do a 60-degree V-bit, it'll go a lot deeper. So um, you have a lot larger of areas in here, so that 60 degree would really push down as deep as it can to try and meet the vectors. So we'll go with the 90, it'll get us a little bit shallower of a cut because some of these cuts would actually probably cut through the wood. But just to give you an example, if we do it just really quick and dirty, we'll set it up, we'll set it up with our 90 V and we'll calculate that out. We will reset the preview and I only want to preview this toolpath so it doesn't distract. So you can see it gives us a nice little cutout right here, a nice little V groove. But you see when it comes to the fire department, the horn, the axe, it really kind of gets in deep on those. So we're going to just kind of putz with that and get that a little bit more presentable. So that's if we don't do any tweaking, we just let the V bit do what it does. So let's delete this for now. We'll go to our 2D view and we will go back into the V-carve. Now what we're going to do to try and clean this up a little is we're going to use this flat depth up here and I don't know, I don't, I haven't used X-carve software or Shapeoko software. I'm guessing they're going to have a similar thing. I'm just not sure where it is. But this kind of gives you the principle of how I get things looking the way I do. So we'll turn that on and we will actually put that at an eighth of an inch. And it's going to bring us here. We'll reset and we'll look at the toolpath. Now you see how we get, you know, we still kind of get that nice little edge in here. You know, on the corners here we get a little bit of flattening out, but still looks really good. But you'll see how you kind of get a bottom in these, which I think looks a little bit better than it trying to v-groove way down in. So you get a little bit nicer of a design. Actually, let me toss a tool path color on there. Let it stick out a little bit. So you kind of get an idea if you were to paint the inside of it. So it just looks a little bit better and of course you get that nice little v there. You could do the same thing with a 60 degree v-bit in this case, but you would probably up in here you would probably get a little bit more flattening. Um, let's see. This is one where we might actually, it probably won't be worth it time-wise, but this is one where I can go in and kind of show you the clearance tool. So when you start getting these bigger areas that need to be carved out like this, when you're doing a flat bottom V, you can use a clearance tool. So you would click on the clearance tool. You would go select your tool. My tools are imperial. Now on this one I would use an eighth inch, uh, a quarter inch end mill would be way too big. Eighth inch will probably be too big, but I do 
have a 16th inch one. And of course I get a call from spam right now. So we're going to choose the eighth inch end mill. So now once we calculate this out, there's nothing else we really have to set up on this. You know, it's quick and dirty. We calculate this out. You actually see we get two, two, two tool paths here. So we will reset them. We'll actually get that out of the way. So we'll take a look at this one. So we'll preview the visible one. And you kind of see the, the eighth inch bit is going to go through and it's going to clear out quite a bit of stuff. That way you're not trying to clear out some of this stuff with the tip of a, a V bit. Um, that would actually be a little bit more important if you're using like a, a 22 or a deeper angle. You don't want to wear down those angles. So this gets rid of a lot of material on here. And it's going to save a little bit of time. Then you'll see we'll go here. Oops. We'll select that one. And then you would change your bit out and it would come in and just basically clean up. Um, you get into bigger projects, that's going to save you some time. This one, it may not really save you time. It might be pretty negligible. So we'll take a look at the whole thing. And we'll even put colors on this one too. if I can hit the right buttons. And there you go. You would have the Firefighter Union. Really quick and dirty, but I get a lot of questions, so I figured I'd start doing a little bit of this to help people out. Uh, as before, I will have affiliate links for the two bits in there. Well, actually, it's one bit in this case. It's going to be the 90-degree V bit. And I will put the Etsy the link to the Etsy store in there for you. Have a good one. I will catch you guys on the next video.